Wolf Tick Nation. Thank you guys for tuning into once again another bonus episode. Bonus. Wolf Tick Videos episode style. Alrighty. Bonus. Now on today's episode we have got the Gogol Panther. Okay. E-bike. Now this has got a, a Bafang 750 watt rear hub motor on it. It's torquey. It's a lot of fun. We're fixing to do a little real-time review for you guys on this episode. And uh, you guys can look in the description below because Google wanted me to let you know they're running a little special deal. So check out the description below. Without further ado, let's uh get into this. Let's, let's get into this. Let's, let's ride this puppy. About. I'm excited let's about ride. it. Get off my hand! My love. Before we go on the ride, I want to uh, get a few things out on the table, okay? Number one, this is going to be a real-time review. I'm going to ride it on the road only, and me and Wolfman are going to meet up in Hot Springs in the city somewhere, okay? But there's a few things. Are Number gonna, one. Uh, are you going to make Brandy happy and yes. make sure you follow all the traffic Big Sister rules? Brandy, I'm going to make you happy. I'm going to follow all the rules. And a while back, Don Peregrino, I know it sounds like a wine, sent us this setup here, okay? Now, if you can see this, we have a rear tail light, okay? And the cool thing about this rear tail light is we have blinkers. You just add it to the back part of your seat post tube, and then this up here is your control panel. So I will be using all of the uh, road laws. This doesn't uh, come with the Google. No, you're no. Adding it. We'll put this in the link description below. Let's go on the road. Let's go into the city. Let's obey traffic laws like you always should, and let's get after it. <laughs> all right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> now this thing is a seven speed and you can hear the motor kicking on and off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, zero and right now I am in first gear. Oh, and she's a heavy girl. Definitely would not wish uh, pedaling this bike on anybody. It's pretty, uh, pretty heavy. Okay. But one thing that's nice is when that motor wants to kick on and go, it wants to kick on and go. And as we had stated, I have ridden this bike a few times now, so I've gotten it down pretty good. Now we do have a headlight and that is on right now. Again, we got the tail light back there too for safety. The brakes are Tektro brakes and they work very well. I mean, they slow this thing down pretty quick. They're not the quietest in the world, but they do work really well. So uh, shifting through the gears, everything shifts really well. It's, it's really smooth. Um, it's easy to get to. Again, this is a quick um, shift style thumb shifter. And I do like that. You very rarely do find those on e-bikes. So to have this one um, equipped with that is very nice. Now, starting to struggle going the uphill. We got a nasty incline up here. I'm going to put this thing on level one, okay? And we're going to see what it does. Automatically, bam, we're kicking them. And I actually have to start gearing up towards, uh, I'm in seventh. We'll go to sixth gear. Okay, so ride at pedal assist level one, right at 10 miles an hour, okay? And we've got a 750 watt, I think 84 Newton meter. Uh, rear hub or the amount of, of torque, I guess. And this is just, I'm, I'm cruising. Just look, no hands. Cruising uphill, okay? Two. Still not really going any faster or any slower. Three. Now it's starting to kick in a little bit more. We're getting up towards 11 miles an hour, but not once, okay? On that last e-bike, we did the same exact test. Not once did we ever, did it start to struggle or uh, start to kind of die down a little bit, okay? That's really impressive. Now we do have the option for the throttle, throttle only. Now if I turn this thing to zero, the throttle does not work. So I do have to at least have it on level one. And something I like about this bike is the throttle actually has some a pretty good amount of feel to it. So I'm able to kind of keep my thumb pressed on it so much, and then I'm able to actually uh, control the speed if you will anything under 10 miles an hour for the most part right because this bike does go uh 10 miles an hour uh, level one thing about the thumb throttle that's not very comfortable is uh having to do this constantly i do find it kind of a pain when it comes to stretch my hand over i wish the throttle was down here and it can't be down there because the shifter's in the way so Maybe over here on the left would be a better spot for it. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we still got a pretty good incline. You guys can see that car coming down. We are going to, uh, we're gonna put this thing in level five. All right, and I believe the max speed is right around 22 miles an hour. And I love it because there's definitely enough torque to get me going. And this is a pretty good grade. Now, if I pedal, it is just all out. And I don't have to use the throttle. It's just kind of something I'm used to doing is always put my hand on that throttle. Because with these bikes, 
That's the thing. I mean, I can just use that throttle all day long and I've done it. Now, this is kind of a downside to some people. You guys can hear the motor, okay? It's kind of loud, but when I let off the throttle, it goes for a little bit and then it kicks out, right? And the problem with that is uh, for some of you guys that are maybe gonna be riding this thing on the trail, you're not going to brake immediately. So if you're not using the brakes and you're just letting off of the, uh, the crank set or you're letting off pedaling, you will continue to go just for a split second. So it does take some getting used to. All right, we're about to take off up a pretty good grade once again. All right, here we go. Now, like most e-bikes, or I think all of them that we've reviewed on the channel, once you hit the brake, your motor does disengage automatically. So that's one of the safety features. If you think that, you know, if you're thinking about getting this bike and you're going, well, I don't like how it continues to go after I pedal it. As soon as you hit the brake, it cuts off. But I mean, this is effortless. I'm in seventh, seventh gear. This is a one by, so everything is clean. The internal routing, all that is very impressive. Uh, I'm really impressed with the bike. Such a smooth ride. Uh, you can read everything. Um, and I do like and I appreciate that it is in miles per hour. We're going 15 right now. We'll get up to speed pretty quick. And I want to show you guys a view of the fork. So I'm cruising. Now the motor will not kick in, but I'm going 27 miles an hour. Speed limit on this road is 30. 30 miles an hour right now. And what I love about the design of this bike it is so stable. I mean, this bike is very stable. Now that might have to do with the head tube angle, but this is such a cruiser, man. Fat tire, feels very good planted underneath you. And going at a high rate of speed like that, I think that's the fastest I've ever been on this bike. It just feels like, uh, like we're just cruising along, man. Like we're not going very fast at all. Okay, what I wanted to do was get you guys a view of this fork. I can't put it up on the head tube because it's so weird. Uh, this fork is very impressive. The preload does not work on it the greatest, but it does work. But for this being a very heavy bike, the suspension is great. And it's a big heavy fork up front, but this bike is a big heavy bike. So it makes complete sense. Most of the time I would be hating on that, having such a big heavy honking fork up front. But this guy here is very smooth. I did use my stop, my stop light, my brake light. A little loud when you're stopped, but when you're cruising, I can say, man, this thing is uh, it's very smooth and it's really pleasant. It's nice. Uh, we do have the lockout feature. Let's put the lockout on. Okay, so in pedal assist level one, we're right at 10 miles an hour. Pedal assist level two, we're going down, so it wants to speed, help speed me up. Pedal assist level two is right at 12 miles an hour. Pedal assist level three, all throttle. Gonna top you out right at 15 miles an hour. Pedal assist level four is gonna get you right at 18 miles an hour. And pedal assist level five, this is the, uh, the max assist, will get you right at 22 miles an hour and then it quits. And speed limit is 25. You can see there it was not breaking the speed limit. Now, uh, something that you get with a really slacked out bike, not that this one's crazy slacked out, but I guess it kind of is for an e-bike because when you have a really slacked out bike and you go to steer, it kind of feels like that front of the bike is almost stuck in that direction. So that can be kind of considered one of the downsides to this bike. Because when you steer, it almost feels like sticky. Now, I don't think that's a matter of breaking things in or not. What I think that is, is there's so much pressure on the front steerer tube of the bike. Not that there's two steerer tubes, the only steerer tube. And I think that's an issue uh, when it comes to, uh, to steering. Now, it's not a, a big thing that you can feel, but it's definitely there. You know, it kind of feels like a big chopper when you're going to steer it. And this is Hot Springs new mural over there. Pretty cool. All right, we got a speed limit of 30 miles an hour. I'm not gonna go that fast. But this bike is super punchy. Downtown Hot Springs, we got the Arlington over here, one of the famous um, bathhouse row hotels. Yeah, man. The 
this thing's a cruiser and what i like about it is it feels big and in charge and it's got that buffang motor to really help back that up so i mean if you find yourself in the pickle you're pretty good to get out torque wise you know what i mean I kind of wish I had a horn. The uh, riding position is really comfortable. Seat's actually pretty comfortable. Now there is something that's weird about this bike when it does come to the riding position, okay? The bars, there's not a lot of back sweep, but as far as like my back, my butt, my legs, everything is comfortable. And this thing I think would fit a pretty wide ride, pretty wide uh, range of riders uh, height wise. The thing is, is it feels a little, the reach is a little far. I've got kind of longer arms for a shorter rider, but I will say when I go to reach and I'm riding this thing kind of for the most part of the day, it does start to get pretty uncomfortable with my arms because it almost feels like I'm locked out. So that is something that is uncomfortable. So if you don't have really long arms, you know, um, you might ought to look, if you're gonna be getting this bike, you might look at some bars that have a little more back sweep or uh, maybe a little bit shorter of the stem. But this is right at the max comfortable, comfortable level for me. It's just long days where I'm, I'm riding this thing all day. My arms start to lock up a little bit because they're just fully extended, but that's something that could be easily fixed. Wax Museum here. We do have some duck tours. some of the uh, famous bathhouses here um you know we're on uh, hot springs basically natural hot springs and all these places i think some of them are still open some of them are breweries but uh for the most part man if you want to get a spa day and these are the places to go on bathhouse and some are even converted to hotels but there are natural springs all throughout hot springs where you guys can get a, a gallon of water you know get some of their water and you're not charged for it so that's pretty cool it's some of the best water. There's Mountain Valley water here. I think we passed that a while back. It's such good water. We're still the full battery. Um, this thing was fully charged this morning. I forget the range on it, guys, but I mean, I feel confident with it um, all day, you know? I think I've ridden a maximum of like 38 miles. I think is what it says. I think it came with 12 miles. I put some miles on this bike. I love the Kenda tires. They do great on the road. I haven't taken them on gravel yet, but um, this thing is definitely meant for the road. It's a cruiser through and through, man. Some stop and go. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the tour here. It's all the bathhouses over here. And this is the parking garage that we're gonna meet Wolfman at over here, here in a little bit. open that fork back up get a little bit more suspension with the stop and go stuff that's what we need right there need a little trailer that's what we need like i said man gogol is really big on sending us this bike and has been very patient with us so gogol thank you guys for being so patient we're getting this review done and really guys i mean all in all i have nothing terrible to say about this bike um it goes plenty fast enough and if you want to go faster than 22 miles an hour then pedal it a little bit uh i would be interested to see if you can unlock the uh, computer on it to go a little bit faster but uh for the most part it's it's pretty solid bike i mean you don't really have to be going faster than 22 miles an hour you know what i'm saying i'm gonna use my blinker here so we can be official with it but um Blinker was used. All right, but yeah, man, I'm enjoying the crap out of this. All right, guys, well, that was the Gogol Panther real-time review. The all, the e-bike over here, the beast. It, it, dude, let me tell you. So, fat bikes turn heads, right? This bike was another level. Yeah. This turned heads like you would not believe. Everybody and their brother was tripping out looking at this thing. Like, man, that is a bad looking bike buddy yep. and uh it, it definitely is okay now like we have been doing here recently with our e-bike reviews uh we want to do a little bit of wolfman and the ticks likes and dislikes yeah, likes and on dislikes. this ride you had to put the 
the tail light on. I put the tail Because it didn't come on. with one. Very important, yeah. Uh, I wish it had a tail. Wish it had a tail light. I'm not going to bash it on not having a uh, rack, although they're so useful. Yeah. Because it looks, this is kind of more about looks than functionality, I yeah. think. didn't have a fender or a So it didn't rack. have a fender or a rack, which I think you're okay with not having a fender. Mm -hmm. I like a lot about it, mainly the looks and the, the. I mean, I'm not a huge attention person, mm -hmm. but boy, if you want some attention, mm -hmm. this gets That's it. That's the bike. Oh, um, downside. I did think of one more real oh, quick. I know what you're going to say. The battery. Yes. Getting that son of a gun. Getting That was a two-person job to get that battery in there. Yes. It, it's nice Ooh, because you tough. can actually take it out of the bike and you can charge it indoors. But, but getting that thing back in there. And I don't ugh. suggest charging batteries indoors anyway. I would say my likes with this bike. Number one is the looks. Okay. Number two is you got a 750 watt actual Bafang rear motor on this thing. 83, 84 newton mirrors uh, with the torque. It's a very torquey bike. This thing will pull you out of some stuff, okay? The ability to be able to shift this thing with a quick shifter and not that big old Mickey Mouse shifter, it's a really good change up from the e-bike company from Gogol, and uh, it shifts so great out of the box. No tuning or, no tuning or anything this has not whatsoever been tuned with this bike. Whatsoever. Mm -hmm. I wish that it had a throttle as opposed to a lever throttle or a twist throttle as opposed to the lever throttle. See, I like the lever. Because, and this is kind of a, you know, a like and dislike, I love the shifter up there, but the part that I don't dis that I dislike about it is I don't think there's a lot of movement to move that lever because your thumb is kind of in the way. So very rarely, I won't say this a lot, but I think that lever needs to be on the left side of the bike. It's a very punchy bike, and that's probably my biggest downfall with it, especially for those riders that are not used to a powerful e-bike. It's either on or off a lot of the times, um, and you can ride this thing without having any of the pedal assist on, but you can really feel the weight, all right? So, uh, Gogol, thank you guys for sending us the e-bike and being so patient with us on this, you know? Yeah, we got a lot of seat time with it, but... Yeah, the, the good thing is, I know it took us longer to get this review done than we had planned, but the good thing is you got more seat time on this than you have on any other bike we've ever reviewed before giving a review yeah. on it. Yeah, I think that was a big help. Um, yeah, you, you, know, you, got to, you got to spend weeks on this thing versus getting a day or two. Yeah, a lot of people are in a big butt rush, but Go will actually give us a lot of time to review yeah. this thing. All right, guys. Wolf Tick Nation, appreciate you guys watching this uh, bonus episode. Please give us a yeah. like. Give us a big old thumbs up, man. We need it. And uh, Gogol, again, uh, you guys can feel more than free to check out the links in the description below. Gogol uh, has sent us a big old savings on the bike, so you guys can Have check they? out their little coupon. Well, deal they sent you us. guys a big savings. Yeah, not us, but uh, yeah, we don't get it. All right, fellas, we will see you on the next one. Mosquitoes. Ooh.